Happy video day, guys. Christina Brooke here. If you have not heard the news, well, I'm actually pretty sad, okay? So I just found out that Bite Beauty is closing down. Okay, yes, take a minute, take a minute. If you love their lipstick formula like I do and their revamped lipstick formula, you're probably pretty sad right now because I am not okay with this, okay? So I literally just fell in love with their new lipstick formula and I got so many colors from them and I have been like on rotation using these lip shades and I'm just like, what is going on? So today we're gonna be doing a quick little lip swatch. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite colors because they're doing a 50% off sale on Sephora and I believe By Beauty's website is also doing a huge sale. So if you like these colors, they are on sale, but like super, super sale. And these formulas are so, so, so good. Whole video showcasing these lipsticks because if you could snag any of these colors for the 50% off, it is so worth it. So anyways, that is what we're doing today, but don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe if you have not already. Let's get into it right now. So first things first, let me quickly show you guys what I just saw on Trend Mood. So I think this was posted, yeah, this was posted yesterday, and it says that it's time to say goodbye to the iconic products but from Bite Beauty. The brand is closing. Stock up on your favorites before they're gone forever. All products are up to 50% off. But the only good news is their lip labs are staying and expanding. So they're just gonna keep with their lip labs, which is kind of like a place that you can go and create your own lipsticks. So I'm assuming you might be able to still get the lipsticks, but the brand is closing. So this is kind of confusing. If anybody understands what that means, tell me. They release like a foundation, they have mascara, they have those lipstick shades that are just so gorgeous. I believe that that brand is like gonna close down, so you're not gonna be able to purchase those products anymore probably at Sephora or any of those retailers. However, since their lip lab is staying open, I believe that maybe you can customize and create a shade that looks similar to the shades that you already had, right? So their lip labs, what they are is that you could go into, um, it's kind of like a boutique, and in there you could create your own shade. They have a bunch of different lip shade colors. You can mix them together, and then you choose your finish, and then you add your flavor, which I'm assuming is the scent of the lipstick, and then you could put your name on it so you can engrave it. So that's kind of like what the lip labs are. A custom lipstick is actually 60 bucks, so that's pretty damn expensive. There's actually no lip lab in Miami, but apparently they're gonna be expanding this concept. It's cool, that's interesting, but the problem that I have is I just really love their lipstick formula. It's so, so good, and I'm really disappointed that they're closing down. I wish that they would have just expanded a lip line, maybe just got rid of all the miscellaneous products and continued doing lipsticks, because their lipsticks are like, in my opinion, their best product. But if you guys have not, so if you guys haven't tried the Bite Beauty lipsticks, they are so, so good. So this is kind of disappointing to me. I'm kind of disappointed. There has been brands that have closed down before that I've been like, yeah, I can see that coming. I guess with Bite Beauty, I could have seen it coming just a tad bit because none of their products have ever been as big hits as maybe their lipsticks have. Like I feel like when Bite Beauty releases something, it's not like, wow, that's so good. It's kind of been kind of like, okay, well Bite Beauty has a mascara now, um, a foundation, or I forgot if it was a tinted moisturizer. But the only thing that really has ever really caught on from them has been their lipsticks. So maybe that's the reason, but I really love their lipsticks. You guys know I purchased a lot of their lipsticks just recently, especially when they did their revamp. And there's a few here, there's a few here that are just like literally my favorite, favorite lipsticks. But not that long ago, I actually did a lip swatch video. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna include my lip swatch video of all the colors that I have right now so you guys can kind of get an idea of the colors and how they look on the lips. So if you're looking at the Sephora website, you can kind of get an idea of what they look like on me. Of course, every single one of these lipsticks, I'm gonna have them linked down below by number. So as they come up on the screen, it will have a number and that number will be the lipstick down below linked. So to get to the description box, you just click on the title or you could just like um, put the down arrow and a whole box will come up and it'll have everything we talked about today. So let's go ahead and let's get into that little swatching video so you guys can see all the lipsticks and then I'll tell you guys my favorite, favorite ones.
So now let me quickly just tell you guys my favorites. So first off, the one I have on my lips today, this one is one of my favorites. So this is called Powerline. Oh God, I love this lipstick. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a nice, a flushy, nudie color. It's kind of like a blush with some nude in it. It's a little bit on the lighter side, so what I usually do with this type of lipstick is I will mix it in with a more rosy tone lip liner, and I just feel like it just does the most beautiful, kind of like flush color to the lips without being too much. This is like my daily color, like I'll wear this like today, I'm actually gonna go to Zara to go pick up some stuff for a current haul that I'm working on. And this is like the lipstick color that I love to put on. Like it's just so, so beautiful. It's very daily for me. I love the way it looks. It matches my skin tone so well. So I am actually so disappointed that this lipstick is going to be discontinued or at least they're gonna stop selling it. At least that's what they're saying. Hopefully they don't, you guys, if they don't discontinue the lipsticks for sure, like I will be so excited, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. They're getting like they're 50% off at Sephora right now. So that is not a good sign. So this is one of my favorite lipstick colors. The other one that I talk about all the time on the channel is Harissa. So this one actually is going to be one that I may just repurchase the color just to have it. Cause look, I'm already getting through this shade and this shade is absolutely stunning. So in the lip swatch video, this was this number and I love this color. This was the most beautiful color I have ever found of an orange mixed with a little bit of red. It's the only orangey red lipstick that I have in my collection that I love. It doesn't make my teeth look yellow and also I could wear it during the day with very simple makeup and I just don't feel like it's like too much. It's the perfect orangey, browny, reddish that doesn't look too much and I'm so sad. This was such a gorgeous color. I will probably repurchase another one of this shade just to have it because it's gonna be such a shame once it's gone. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Those two colors are just absolutely insanely beautiful. So I would say my favorite colors would be these two. These are like my go-to amazing colors. The other one that I'm actually pretty disappointed as well, and this is not my go-to and just because the shade is so dark, is Tanini. So I actually got this one thinking that it was gonna be um, more red, but it has more of like a burgundy red undertone to it and it's just so gorgeous. I mix it with a very deep brown lip liner and it like makes the lip color just look so sultry and cool and I just really like this color. So out of all my lipsticks from Bite Beauty, these are my favorite three. Like I would say my top three would be these and they're all just really unique shades, just so, so pretty. And like I've said, I buy a lot of lipsticks. I kind of really love lipstick. And this is one of my top lipstick formulas. Like I actually was going to demote Natasha Denona's formula and say that this was gonna be my number one. It was like up there. So I'm so, so disappointed in that. This is a fantastic formula. I hope maybe another brand will buy this formula. Can another brand buy this formula? Like can somebody go to Bite Beauty and say, I need to buy your formula? This is so, so good and it's just, ah, maybe a brand that's getting a little bit more attention right now, could they buy this formula? <laughs> So, so good. But anyways, I wanted to film this video for you guys because if you're looking at the Sephora website or you're on the Bite Beauty website and you wanted to see which were my favorite colors and also see some of them swatched in person, that's it. Those are my favorite colors and I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Oh gosh. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below what has been your favorite colors. Like if you have tried Bite Beauty, is there a color that you really, really love? Um, do you know if maybe they're not gonna discontinue the lipsticks forever? <laughs> And also, if you have if you have a lipstick lab near you, can you actually buy the current shades or it's just about making your own? Because like looking online, it almost looks like you could just make your own and you can't just like buy like the shades. I'm gonna have to like go in there and be like, yeah, I wanna like make Harissa. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.